All right, all right. Good evening, side friend. It's Mitty Man. I'm coming back again at you from Walker's Music to uh, do a, uh, I wanted to do a follow-up video. I didn't forget, but I did too in a way. But uh, we just trying to say like uh, we, we remember Memorial Day as a day that we honor the veterans and the people of the armed services and uh, we give them homage and we remember the sacrifices that they uh, do on a daily basis. In other words, not it may not be the ultimate sacrifice, but they sacrifice being away from their homes and their families, being in a distant lands, you know, holding and standing up for what we believe in and our standard of life and our way of life and our way of living. And so we give them honor. But I came back to also do another uh, <clears throat> another memorial uh, of, a, of a, a great I should say of a, a, a great, great choir that we had at my home church, and uh, matter of fact, uh, a lot of times I spent away from home, but I, I never did forget about the choir and the church as a whole. But nevertheless, uh, I'm, this choir I'm speaking of right now is choir, and they all choir number two. And uh, matter of fact, we still have a lot of the old members from the old choir, and uh, in our present choir. The mass choir, that man, and y'all can all. We all, uh, we dare not uh, make a mockery of any anyone, or no, uh, neither choir, because there's no need to for that to, to happen in, in the first place. This is not what this is about. Both of them are great choirs, but we just we just remembering uh, choir number two because we got some good, great, outstanding members that are still with us that are no longer able to, uh, first of all, participate with the choir and as a matter of fact we'll start with the president the former president uh, well, choir number two was a, a mr bud home in other words and mr albert his name deacon albert home but we call it, everybody called him finally mr bud and mr bud the president of the choir for many many years and uh, choir number two and uh, matter of fact we had a uh they had a awesome singers so we've lost a few members by way of going on home to be with the Lord, we have uh, lost quite a, quite a few members. And that uh, our musician at that time was my buddy, my buddy brother, brother Floyd Carter. And I tell you the truth, I, when our blood, uh, brother Carter played for Annie for over 20 odd years, I know for a long time. Because even after our former, one of our former uh, chairman, of, chairman of our church, Deacon Freddie Gifford, and he had come to me and asked me to about to reorganize the junior choir during I was yet in high school. I was about to get out in 79. And uh, he came to me about that and asked me about reorganizing junior choir, which I did. And uh, matter of fact, uh, Brother Father Carter had just started playing for Anna York about maybe a couple of years before I started actually having to reorganize the junior choir. After being asked to do so, of course. But nevertheless, I we. Uh, he worked many years with choir number two, and uh, matter of fact, uh, over 20 some odd years, I know 24, I believe, or more. And uh, then I came in, and uh, because of the fact I was always with them anyway, so it was just a, a smooth transition. It wasn't really nothing too hard for me to just come on and do. Uh, filling Floyd's shoe was a big responsibility, a big job, because Floyd worked with that choir. Floyd worked with that choir many years, him and Lily Bell as the director, and they had really put a lot of time and effort into the uh, choir too. And uh, matter of fact, that the job was a big job to fill, and we did the best we could. But nevertheless, it was uh, uh, Floyd told me and showed me all the things that he could, showed me what to do with the, with the choir and everything to take them on the rest of the way. And nevertheless, the Lord made it possible that I did come in and spend a few years, and then we had to leave again. Then after so many more years, we got we ended up back at home. Been back at home now. This is the first year anniversary of being back at home. So we give God the glory, and we want to say we give we thank God for our choir number two, all the members that are yet with the Mass Choir. We got a lot of the members. Our president, our president, our sister Honey, she's still the president. That's a former member of choir number two. Sister Anna Jordan, former member of choir number two. Uh, sister Joy Robinson, former member. Uh, Beverly Burke, former member of uh, choir number two. So we got a lot of the former members of choir number two yet present with us. The mother of our church, she's still with us. That's a former choir number two. Uh, 
but uh, like I said, she's no longer she's no longer sings in the choir, but she's still yet she's yet the mother of our church, the mother men and see sibling. We give God, we thank God for her. But it's one thing what I want to come back to do. It's an old song that we that choir two did years ago. As a matter of fact, they did all of I don't think it was a Jane Cleveland song that ever came out that choir number two didn't do. And Floyd taught them every one of those songs. Floyd taught them them songs. I cannot take credit for none of that. I just know how to play a little bit of them. But I can't take any credit for teaching them those songs. Floyd taught them them songs long years ago. But it was one of them uh, called um, Hallelujah Tis Dawn. And I got my old keyboard, my old Casio cranked up back here. And I'm just going to try to play a little bit of it. I, I thought about trying to sing a little bit of it. But I don't know if I better do that or not. <laughs> but... At any rate, I just wanted to give everybody just a little taste of one of the songs, an old song from uh, Jane Cleveland, one of the choir number two favorites, called Hallelujah, Tis Dawn. So bear with me now. Bear with me. I ain't got my pedals, so just bear with me. on just a little bit but that was one and I mean uh, I can remember back I mean just like it was yesterday when that choir two would, when they would hit that song I mean they would lift the, the roof off of the church I mean high praise and uh, the choir really would burn it up and uh, like I said I wanted this as, as it being Memorial Day at the dawn of the end of the Memorial Day we wanted to also remember choir number two and the, and the, and the members that made up choir number two as well as our former uh, Minister of Music there at that particular time, Brother Floyd Carter, that made that choir really and truly. I cannot take no credit for choir number two at all. I just assisted. Whenever he gave me the opportunity, I had to go out with them sometimes, and Floyd would teach me everything I needed to know in order to be to go out with the choir. He would teach me. He would set that that keyboard and teach me everything I needed to know in order to go out with that choir. I never take no credit from Brother Floyd Carter with choir number two. I can't. I cannot take it. He is the one, him and God made that choir. So with that being said, we just take our head out to choir. And y'all, choir number two, y'all keep on keeping on. The ones that are yet with us, keep on keeping on. This is Man saying peace. Good night. <laughs>